Hi, this is the second lecture on design of steel structure. In this video, I will be discussing about connections. What are connections? Connections are defined as structural fasteners. They connect different members together, particularly steel structures. Okay, steel members like beams and columns are connected together by any of these connections like bolt, weld, rivet, or even pins. The pins are only used in mechanical structures or mechanical machines. Otherwise, bolt, weld or rivets are commonly practiced in all civil related structures like buildings. So, in the first time we will take up is what is bolted connection. A bolted connection involves two parts that a nut and a bolt. Bolt has a head and a shank area that is this is the head and this is the shank. The shank diameter is what we use to represent a boot. Okay, these are the different parts of a boot: head, shank, and the threaded area. This threaded area is where a nut fits in. So, in the second figure, we can see that this is a screw head. There are two plates that are connected with the help of a bolt. A bolt passes through and through to these plates and fastens them together. So, this is what is the use of a bolt. It acts as a connector. Now let us see how a bolt is designated. A bolt may be having a hexagonal head. Okay, this bolt can be designated by these letters M, D into L. M means metric size. In India, we are following metric size. Okay, D is the diameter. Which diameter? D is the diameter of the shank. This is the shank area of a bolt, and that diameter is eight mm. All of these are in mm. What is L? L is the length of the bolt. The length of the bolt is also in mm. Therefore, m8 into 70 means that is a 8 mm dia bolt of 70 mm length. That is how we designate a bolt. Now, let, what I will show you is there are some different types of bolt that I have in my hand. This is one. This is the second. This has a round head. This is a hexagonal head. And this is another type. All of these bolt on the top of it, there is a number written on it. It is visible if you come at, come very close to it. So these numbers like this 5.6 represents the grade of the bolt. And how to find the strength of the bolt from the grade? That is what we are going to do now. Okay. So let us find out what is the grade of the bolt based on the number given here. Okay. The grade of a bolt signifies what is the strength. That is the ultimate strength and the yield strength. That is, a bolt is a steel member. Therefore, it has two types of strengths. The first one is yield strength, that is when it is yielding. And the second one is ultimate strength, that is the maximum point before rupture. So, we can find out these two, which is based on this grade of the bolt. The grade is given over here, it is 5.6. So, from this, 5.6 implies 1 by 100 the ultimate strength. That is 5.6 equal to 1 by 100th of ultimate strength. The ultimate strength of a bolt is denoted by FUB. Therefore, if you want to find the ultimate strength of the bolt, that is FUB, will be equal to what? FUB is equal to 100 into. We use just the first letter, the first element, that is 5. Therefore, the value is 500. The whatever we are getting is in MP or mega Pascal. This is the ultimate strength of the bolt. So, what is the yield strength? The yield strength divided by ultimate strength is what is given in the second part, that is 0.6. From this, we can find out what is the yield strength. Yield strength of the bolt FYB is equal to 0.6 into FU. We know FU value, that is 500. If you multiply this, what will you get? 6 is a 30. We have 300 MPa. This is the last topic for today. That is the types of connections. The connection can be of various type. The various types are based on the force acting on the connection, force transferred by the connection, and the force experienced by the connection. These are the different types based on first is force action. There are two types that is simple and eccentric. The simple connection, if you consider a beam and a a beam and a column connection. This is the connection of a beam, this is a beam and this is a column. 
So, if the load is acting directly on the connection, it is known as a simple connection. That is, load is acting directly on the connection, it is not a simple connection. Then what is eccentric connection? If the load is acting at a particular distance from the connection, if the beam and column is joined here, using bolt or welder, whatever it is, and if the load is acting at a particular distance, for example, E, that is known as eccentricity, then it is known as eccentric connection. So, what is eccentric connection? In case of eccentric connection, there is a moment. What is moment? Moment is a force into distance. That is, there is a force acting at a particular distance. That is, this, if the force is P, then P into E is the moment acting. Therefore, in eccentric connection, we have to consider the moment also. Therefore, these are two important types of connection, simple and eccentric connection. Next is based on force transfer. There are two types, that is bearing and friction. The first is bearing connection. If this is a connection and there is a bolt here, if the bolt is very strong, then the plate tends to shrink. There is a bearing effect between the plate and the bolt. This is known as the bearing connection. Okay. The connection in the connection, if the force between the bolt and the plate is transferred by bearing effect, then it is known as bearing connection. So, what is bearing? Bearing means there is a crushing effect on both the things. Okay. The next is friction. Friction connection, it means the same. The same connection, if the force is transferred by through friction between the bolt and the plate, then it is known as a friction connection. So, this is the second type, that is based on force transfer. Bearing connection and friction connection. The last type is based on force experienced. There are three types, shearing connection, tension connection and combined these two is called combined connection. Shearing connection includes two types, lap joint and mud joint. The lap joint is one over here or this figure. Everything is lap joint. If you have, if you have to connect two plates like this, if you have to connect these two plates, and it can come one over the other. This is known as lap joint and we can provide a bolt here. This is known as a lap joint. Okay, like this figure or this figure. Then what is butt joint? Sometimes there are two plates like this. There is this is one plate, and this is one plate, and this is the other plate. If these plates are wide apart like this, and we can't put it like this for some reason, then we can connect it by providing an additional plate below it. If we provide an additional plate like this, this is the additional plate given over here. This is the additional plate. If you provide an additional plate over here, we can connect these two plates by providing bolt here and here. Is connecting these two plates through an addition plate is known as a butt connection. Therefore, sharing connection we have two types that is lap joint or lap connection and butt joint or butt connection. So, this next type is tension connection. An example for tension connection is hanger. What happens? The force experienced by this connection is tension. That is, there is a pulling effect on whatever connection there is. That is a pulling effect. Example is a hanger connection. So, the last one is a combined connection. In this case, there is shearing effect as well as tension effect. This case is very not common. So, we can't use this, we are not studying this combined connection for now. We will be concentrating on lap joint and butt joint. So, this is the second lecture about connections. We summarized about the various, what is bolt, for the part of the bolt, how a bolt is connected by lap joint, when we also discussed about the grade of a bolt and the strength of a bolt and how they are designated and also the various types of connection based, based on force action, force transfer and force experience. That's all for today. In the next class, we will be discussing about the different type of bolt and also the codal provision. That is, the code we are using is IS 800-2007 and how the codal provisions are provided for a bolted connection.